Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make some string art. Here is some examples here. We've done a jack-o'-lantern face, or you could do it more as like a part of a word or something like that. But today I am going to make um, a paw print with a heart in it. So here's what you need. You need a piece of wood, and this could just be like a scrap piece of wood. Um, my parents were making a deck last summer, so I scavenged some of the leftover bits of wood for different crafts, so you can easily find um, wood in different places. Um, then you also need some small nails. These are wire brads, 5 eighths of an inch. Um, I think I found these at Walmart. They're they're pretty inexpensive, or you might just have some things lying around your house that you can use. And then you need you also need some thin string, like embroidery floss works really good because it's nice and thin. Um, or you can use some thin, really thin yarn. Thin it needs to be thin because otherwise um, it'll bunch up too much because you're going to be going over each of the uh, nails several times. As you can see, this one got really full really fast, um, and then it just gets more difficult to wrap it around um, the nails because it'll bunch up in the middle here. Um, but it's up to you. Whatever you have on hand, you can use. And then you're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut the string. Um, a hammer to nail in the nails, a bit of tape, and a bit of glue. Um, so the first thing you need to do is take your piece of wood, and what I like to do is print out the outline of what I am going to um, use for the string art, because this way there's no lines on the wood um, after the fact. It's up to you though, you can just draw out your outline and do it right on the wood, that's fine too, That whatever works. Uh, so it's at this point, if you um, want to paint the wood or not. Um, you can leave it uh, natural or you can paint it, but you want to do that before you nail things in, um, because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to get it around each individual nail and not get it on the uh, string. So the first thing I do is I take my image and I just put a bit of tape on each side to hold it in place. So once your image is on wood, like so, you take your nails and just nail them in around the outside of the image. And as you go, you want to keep them about a finger width apart because you're going to want to be able to get the string around them. Um, you can, you uh, only want to nail them in about halfway. Um, and at this point, you don't really need to worry if they're all level because once you've got all the nails in, you can go back and pound them in so that they are all at level and you can straighten them up, whatever. Uh, so once you've gone around all of the outlines here, um, as well as the inside of the heart, if you choose to do um, that, uh, you are done with the nailing part. Uh, so, since I have prepared ahead of time, it will look like this. So once you are at this point, this is when you can remove the piece of paper and just rip it off. You're not going to need it again, so it's all right if it, it is in pieces. And you might get some little bits stuck around the nail here, and you'll just want to uh, get them off the best you can. You might need a pair of tweezers, but you might be all right. So now you need to take your string and what I like to do is outline each bit first so you know where you're going because right now it just looks like a bunch of nails. It doesn't really look like anything. So you want to take your string 
and tie it around the first nail. It's what's easier is if you tie a loop in it now, and then when you have the loop like that, just wrap it around one of the nails and pull it tight rather than try to um, do it around the nail. It's much easier if you do the loop ahead of time. And uh, you, then you can just tie a knot in the end of your string. And this is where the glue comes in handy because then you, can, you don't have to worry so much about how tight your knot is. If you just put a dab of glue on the end and um, it'll keep it in place. And then don't worry about the end too because you can fix that when you're done. So all you, what I recommend you do is go around the outline of each one first so you know where you're going and then just wrap it around like so around each nail and keep going. And as you go, you want to push the string down so that it is low to the wood because as you go, you're going to need to wrap it around the nail again. So you keep going around and around until you got a nice outline of your whole thing. And then um, what you want to do is you can go back and forth in any direction you like so um, and just try to get it around each nail at least once and just keep going until it is as full as you want it to be. And then you keep going. And then when it's as full as you like it, you just simply tie another loop in your string. We're going to just cut that bit off. Tie it like that and then wrap it around the end of the um, nail where you want to end it and just pull it tight. And this is a bit tricky here. It really develops your fine motor skills. And so there you go. And then you just cut the end off, put a little dab of glue, um, and that is one of your pop fingers there. And so you just keep going until you are finished with your design. And that is all there is to it, um, to how to do the string art.